I understand that a lot of you want to move to the UK as healthcare assistants and some of you even have interviews coming up. This is why I went to the extent of speaking to a recruiter, somebody who has been in charge of recruiting and interviewing healthcare assistants for a long time. And she gave me some possible questions which you are likely to be asked during an interview for a healthcare assistant role in the UK. So some of these questions are questions that you're not going to escape so long as you want to work as a healthcare assistant. I've done a video a while ago on possible interview questions and answers for healthcare assistant roles. So if you've not seen that video, you want to see it because I purposely left out some of the questions I've dealt with in that video before. So please try and see that video if you've not seen it. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Yeah, my name is Tochi and you guys are welcome to my channel. I'm just going to dive right into the questions I've prepared and some of the possible answers that you should give when you're asked such questions during your interview for a role as a healthcare assistant. So the first question that you're likely going to be asked during an interview is, tell us about yourself. Now, this question comes up in most interviews, not just for, you know, healthcare assistant roles. All right, so let's answer, tell us about yourself. This is a time for you to tell them about your qualification, experience, and your skill. If you're familiar with some of my videos on this channel, you'll know what the QES means. I talked about it extensively in a video where it talks about how to get a job in the UK in four simple steps. If you've not seen that video, you would want to see it as well i'm going to leave the link in the description box now this is a time for you to talk about your qualification your experience and your skill and how passionate you are about the job remember it has to be relevant to the role that you are applying for all right you have to talk about the qualification you have your experience you've had in the past you know your skills how it's related to the role as a healthcare assistant what you've done in the past as, you know how you've been able to deal with patients and of course achieve results this is a time to talk about all that but at the same time please try and keep it very brief and simple okay so you have to tell them how passionate you are about caring for people all right how you love doing your job what you have done in this field and how you've been able to achieve results in the past Remember, it has to be related to the role of a healthcare assistant. It's not a time for you to come and say, oh, my name is Tochi. I love to read. I love to write. I love to eat. I love to jump. I love to travel. See, it's not a time for you to tell them all that. It's a time for you to tell them about your qualification, about your experience, about your skill, and how it's related to the role of a healthcare assistant. The second question is, tell us a time you had to deal with patients who refused care. Now, because of the kind of role you applied for, we're talking about the role of a healthcare assistant or a support worker, as the case may be. You are likely to come in contact with patients who once in a while refuse care, who once in a while don't want to talk to anybody, they just want to be on their own. So it's not a time for you to come and tell them, oh, I've never come in contact with such patients, or no, it's not my portion, I will never come in contact with such patients. You know, it's not a time for all that. They basically want to access your communication skill how patient you are and you know how you're able to achieve results and all of that so because of what this job entails you're likely to come in contact with such patients from time to time some of them could be verbally abusive or even physically aggressive so you have to be very careful that is why they're asking you such questions to know what you're going to do in times like that so you're just expected to say basically oh i'm going to stop and listen to him listen to why he doesn't want personal care at that point and of course be patient with him and then walk him through the whole challenge tell him the importance of having his personal care you know how it's going to make him feel good good and all of that after doing all that and he still refuses i'll then seek assistance from the team leader or a superior worker the next question is what would you do if you experience abuse of patients by a co-worker 
So they basically want to be sure that you understand behaviors that are unacceptable in a workplace. And of course, abuse is not accepted here at all. And they also want to know how compassionate you are about the patients you're taking care of. So here you would basically say that you would try to stop your colleague or you try to stop your coworker from doing that. Okay, some people just say, oh, I would run off and go and report, no. Because you have witnessed it, you have to first stop it and make sure the patient is safe. Then you can go and report the incident to a superior, to the team leader, or anybody who is in charge at that particular time. Number four, what are the steps to take to familiarize yourself with a new patient? So for this question, you are expected to tell them that you're going to look as the care plan of the patient because they just want to establish that you understand the concept of care plans and all of that. Remember that they are interviewing you as somebody who already has experience in the job. That is why I keep saying it. If you want to get a job as a healthcare assistant in the UK, if you want to stand a chance, then you have to get a professional experience Get at least six months care experience experience in a professional setting that way you stand a chance so they are interviewing you as somebody who already has an experience in this field you can also watch my video on moving to the uk as a healthcare assistant made easy i'm going to leave the link in the description box because i explain in details you know all you need to know about moving to the uk as a healthcare assistant so for the question you're just basically expected to say that you're going to read up the patient's care plans to understand more about their condition to be familiar with their condition and then maybe talk to some of their colleagues for any other information then introduce yourself to the patient chat with them and get to know them better the next question is how do you maintain dignity of a patient when performing personal care tax so for this question you're expected to say that you're going to shut the door and then close the curtains close the window to be as private as possible and then you're also going to cover the patients with a towel as well and also you try to carry them along for some patients who can make decisions for themselves you know by asking them what they want to wear the shoes they want to wear for the day and things like that the next question is why did you apply for the role of a healthcare assistant in our facility now remember if you're going for an interview please try and read up about that company because for a company to invite you for an interview there is a chance that there is a role waiting for you so your performance at the interview will determine whether you will get the job or not all right so this is a time for you to sell yourself and let them know that you are the man for the job so make sure you read up about the company know about their vision their mission what they are all about and how you can bring in your skills and experiences you know to to help them achieve their aims and objectives so they basically want to understand what motivated you to apply to the company of course you just won't come and tell them oh i'm applying to your company because i need a job you know nobody employs you just because you need a job if you get what i mean so you really have to sell yourself here and show them that you really deserve to get the job so you can say things like oh it's because of your outstanding reputation for patient care how you put the needs of you know the patients you care for first how you take care of your staff your employees employees and even your patients you know things around that all right so while you're preparing for some of your interview questions also be preparing to answer questions about the company that you're applying to so the next one is they could ask you tell me about an achievement that you are proud of all right so this is a time for you to talk about of course your experiences things that you have done in some of the companies that you have worked for and how you've been able to achieve results so there's something that is called the star technique that is s-t-a-r what this simply means is situation task action and results so for this question you talk about a situation that came up in your former place of work all right you know just something came up you give a scenario of what came up and then that's the situation so when we talk about the situation talk about the task what was expected of you to do at that particular time and then talk about the action what you actually did and then the results how you were able to achieve results all right so how your actions led you to achieve a particular 
final result and of course how your employer was pleased with the result remember you have to be results oriented when you're talking about something like this make sure to always end with the results that you achieved right so when you talk about a situation talk about what you did all right and how that thing you did led you to achieve a result that solved the problem the result that everybody was happy with at the end of the day so if you've won an award before this is a time to talk about it as well and things like that so they could not ask you do you consider yourself a team player or how do you deal with a non-cooperative colleague or i just want to understand how you deal with a colleague that is not cooperating maybe a colleague who is just proving to be stubborn or who is trying to be a hindrance to a job or maybe they were tax assigned and a colleague doesn't want to do his or her job so they just want to know how you would interact with other colleagues if you're a team player or not so this is a time for you to also tell them that you're a team player that you cooperate as much as possible that your aim is for every daily tax to be met weekly tax to be met and that if there is a colleague that is not willing to cooperate you talk to the person if the person is not listening then you report to a senior colleague to the team leader and things like that the next question we'll be talking about is tell us about your strengths and your weaknesses sometimes these questions go hand in hand tell us about your strengths and your weaknesses sometimes there are two different questions so you have to talk about your strengths first and then the next question they'll ask you to talk about your weaknesses so always prepare for these questions when you're applying for a job so the essence of talking about your weakness is of course you are human so you are likely to have a weakness so make sure you tell them something that is not related to the role that you are applying for and how you're trying your best to solve that problem so for your weaknesses you could tell them that you work so hard sometimes that you barely find time to rest you could also tell them that because of how passionate you are for your job you take up so many responsibilities that it weighs you down sometimes you take up more jobs that you can even handle you're really working on that you're really working on just doing your basic jobs jobs that are assigned to you and not take up too many responsibilities because of your love for the job that you're also trying to find a balance so that you can rest as well and things like that all right and then for your strengths you already know your strength tell them about your strength make sure it's in relation to the job that you're applying for and all of that so yeah this is basically it for this video i hope it helps thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye